spaced repetition. Everyone is doing it. They're probably doing it wrong. My name is Hannah, and this is Superpower Learning, a channel for learning nerds. I'm one of them. Everyone in learning is talking about spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is repetition of content space progressively over time. You might see a word um, in one day, then you're going to see it in two days, then in one week, then in one month. With really minimum effort, you're able to remember that word a lot better than if you've just seen it once, in which case you probably have 90% chance that within a month you're no longer going to remember it at all. In 2011, a brilliant guy, Louis Van Aan, kicked off this amazing project that is now known as Duolingo. The magic behind Duolingo is spaced repetition. Duolingo has been immensely successful and has enabled hundreds of millions of people to try to learn a language. It made language learning accessible. My mom is now semi-fluent in Spanish, but there are three problems with space repetition. Let's go back to the origins of the algorithm that Duolingo uses. That was kind of 1980s Poland. A guy called Piotr Woźniak was a student at university, really didn't think that he was ever going to be able to speak English fluently at the rate at which he was being taught. Bozniak designed like a schedule for revision for him to, to remember the words better. The massive problem with, with the space repetition algorithm Piotr Woźniak uh, designed and that Duolingo uses is that it was designed for foreign language learning and it does not actually work as well if you're trying to learn something that's either theoretical or applied. Let's take physics, for example. Based repetition will be amazing at helping you learn the key concepts, key pieces of vocabulary and key names, but it's not going to be great at allowing you to learn the relationships between the forces or, or energy or mass. To give it a language analogy, uh, it might be good for learning new vocabulary, but it is not that good for learning grammar or sentence structure or the culture that, that kind of binds the language uh, together. So the second problem with spaced repetition, the spaced repetition algorithm has been optimized for learning, not engagement. If you've ever used uh, spaced repetition, it kind of feels like you're on a hamster wheel. So you're doing reviews and reviews and reviews and reviews. And sometimes you get an avalanche of, of reviews, but we're humans. We need to be interested in what we're learning. We actually came up with something called uh, load balancing. As your repetitions get more and more spaced out, it's less critical that you see it, you know, in 14 days after the first time you learned a concept. It can be 15, it can be 60. Trying to balance out the reviews to, so that you don't have those mega review days. So before I go on, I wanted to invite you to subscribe to our channel. This is our first video. We want for this to be um, an engaged conversation with people who care about learning as much as we do. So the third problem with space repetition forces you to, to just select those small snapshots that will remind you of the general picture of the thing that you're trying to learn. What we try to do, create learning materials, and then we try to pull out the most important things that are actually worth remembering forever. That's kind of, you know, what, what our app does. But not everyone is trying to learn the same thing. So how do you personalize? How do you curate? It's interesting to one person might not be interesting to another person. I don't want to make it sound like space repetition does not work at all. It definitely does, but there are some problems with it. The algorithm was originally designed for language learning. It was designed for learnability, not thinking about human motivation. And the third one is it forces you to, to just select those small snapshots. If you have any kind of exciting ideas about how to solve this problem, uh, we would love to hear from you. So drop us a comment or just your overall experiences as a learner. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you.